OLED, or OLED as it's commonly known, is often used in the everyday cell phone. But now for the first time we're seeing it applied to TV technology, giving it that thin, very sleek look. This is the case in point. It's the Sony XEL1. This is the first organic LED TV, OLED TV from Sony. What makes it so great? It consumes no power well off, unlike your traditional LCD or plasma. It also consumes as little as 35 watts while on. That's less than a light bulb. The vivid picture is stunning. And Dave, let's take a look at what makes this baby so special. <laughs> The big benefits with this TV, Dave, it has an incredibly wide viewing angle, vivid color, very bright. It comes, the XEL1, in an 11-inch screen, 16-9 aspect ratio, the wide screen. And what's so amazing about this TV is the screen is actually 3 millimeters thin without the stand. It has a 1080p signal, so it's high definition. It has two HDMI inputs. No component video inputs, but you can still get that high def signal. It also comes with a memory stick, so you can view all of your photos and the menu navigation is just like in the PlayStation. The XEL1 sells for $2,500 in North America. Organic LED TVs, Dave, I feel almost crazy saying this, but this TV has perhaps the best picture I've ever seen in a television. That's a big statement, Chris. It is, and the Sony brand, there are other manufacturers are jumping in on this. Just the technology is so incredible, and that's where we're going for the future of television. Yeah, it's been estimated that the OLED market is going to be reaching $4.5 by 2010, so that's... Really, just a sign that the future of home theater is going to be OLED. And technology is always moving forward. Everyone out there is probably hitting their heads saying, oh my god, something else I have to invest in. There are some cons with this right now. The XEL1 only comes in an 11-inch screen. So how many people do you know are going to want to go out and shell out for something that's smaller than a laptop? And for $2,500, it's a big bruise on the wallet. And you can get a 50-inch LCD for that much thereabouts. So it's going to have to be an investment for the those early adopters. And that's something that we've looked at, this technology going forward. We want to take a look at how much Sony's planning on spending and where the industry is actually going, because we do think that this is going to one day replace LCD and plasma. <laughs> Sony has taken some criticism for showing the same 11-inch prototype of their OLED screen at both the 2007 and 2008 Consumer Electronics Show. Sony's really been focusing on what's currently available. However, in the 2008 CES event, they actually did show a 27-inch prototype. So they are looking at making it bigger, thankfully. And that means more money and more investment. Sony is investing $215 million into the technology so you can really tell they're taking it seriously. The other thing is we talked to Sony and they said they're available, they currently can produce about 2,000 units per month. So at the 11 inch model, I don't think it's going to fly off the shelves, but you never know. As it gets bigger, it's something we're seriously going to consider and seriously going to look at. This will be making way, making headway at Super Bowl parties everywhere, hmm. I imagine. But I have a feeling it's going to be the Super Bowl party 2009, 2010. Nothing really happening in your friend's basement or over the corner store within the year. This is what's to come, and so we're giving you a sneak peek of the future. And until the price comes down, I probably would guess you might not be too interested, but if you are available, if you have a Sony store or something near you, go check it out because it is amazing. Hi, I'm Veronica Belmont for Engadget and Mahalo, and we're here at the Sony booth at CES 2008, taking a look at a prototype. It's the OLED, the 27-inch model. Now, they have 11-inch versions that are available at Sony Style stores right now. It's the width of three credit cards, about three millimeters thick, has a one million to one contrast ratio, and uh, it doesn't have a backlight. It looks really, really good, but who knows when we're going to see it. At CES 2008, I'm Veronica Belmont. What's up? I'm Brian Tong with CNET at CES 2008, and you guys know you come to CES to see all the new goodies, latest gadgets. Well, here 
behind us at Samsung, we've got a concept model. It's their 31 inch OLED TV. Now it has a ridiculous contrast ratio of 1 million to 1. It weighs 40% less than LCD TVs because it's so thin and you're actually staring directly at the organic light emitting diode. So that's why you see these things are super sexy and they're going to be coming out sometime around 2010. So we're just going to have to wait until then. I'm Brian Tong and once again it's the concept OLED TV from Samsung coming out 2010. Sony has developed a full-color flexible display built onto a sheet of plastic that can be bent but still show video. The 2.5 inch screen, which is one of the first of its type in the world, has a resolution of 160 by 120 pixels, making it a little larger than a typical cell phone screen but a little lower resolution. It's an OLED or organic light emitting diode display. In such displays the pixels emit their own light and so an additional source isn't required as it is in a conventional LCD panel. That means the screens consume less power and can be made thinner. OLEDs also handle fast moving images well and offer good color reproduction. Building the screen on flexible plastic instead of glass introduces some problems such as keeping the various layers inside the screen aligned and working while the panel is flexed. Look closely and you'll see some glitches on this screen but it's still a work in progress. Sony sees OLED technology as important for its future products. At the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas in January, Sony showed off prototype TVs based on larger, non-flexible 11-inch and 27-inch OLED panels. Thanks to the lack of a backlight, the 11-inch prototype was just 11 millimeters thick, but displayed a vibrant, colorful image. Sony plans to have its first OLED TVs on sale in Japan this year. In Tokyo, this is Martin Williams, IDG News Service. At this year's CES, you will see and hear much about OLED technology. Shock recognizes OLED technology, and we are exploring our options for the future in that area. However, there are two major regions, reasons that OLED will not replace LCD anytime soon. First, the product lifetime of the current OLED TVs is approximately three to four years. And we believe it needs to be at least 10 years in order to be used as a TV. Second, it is also difficult to mass produce OLED in the largest sizes consumers are demanding for their homes. Until these challenges are overcome, we will refrain from introducing a commercial OLED product.